All right. Uh, very, very tough. Very, very tough locker room right now. And uh, there's not a whole lot to say. Um, defense played extremely well. Offense did not. Pretty obvious what the issues were between penalties and, and uh, turnovers. Thought we played a pretty good first half. And second half just wasn't good enough. And some really missed opportune penalties and, and some tough calls. And uh, got a lot to fix, you know. This is a, a tough football team. They're good kids. And so, you know, we go back to work with them. And I'm not going to be able to give you the answers here without watching the film. But it's pretty obvious what we need to get better at. Questions? Raise your hand if you got a question for Coach. Brian, go ahead. Coach, how do you get a team's confidence back to back up after a loss? I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do you get a team's confidence back up after a loss like this? Yeah, it's going to be tough. I mean, he's hard. Uh, he's hard on himself, first of all. Nobody feels worse than Brennan does right now. And so, you know, we got work to do with the whole team. And, and I know he's going to own his part of it. There's a lot of things that happened around him that made it a hard night um, at that position too. But, you know, every player, like I told him in the locker room, every player has a part in a win. Every player has a part in a loss. There's a lot of things we got to improve on and it's football. You know, you start blaming the head coach first. And then after that, you go to the quarterback. That's what people do. I understand that, you know, that's the sport we're in, um, but that's not what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to get in there with these guys and try to help them get better. Go ahead, Jaden. Sean Brown was a really positive force on the defense tonight. Um, what did you see from him? Well, it's hard to uh, make out what you guys are saying. I don't know if the connection's bad. I, I didn't understand you there. I'm sorry. Sean Brown was a really positive force on the defense tonight. What did you see from him? Sean Brown? Yeah. Sean's yeah. playing well. He played really well last week, too. It's unfortunate. Uh, that he was ejected on that hit. I thought it was a great tackle. Um, but, yeah, he's he's playing really good. He's he's a great team player, too. You know, whatever you ask him to do, he does it as hard as he can. Go ahead, Noah. I'm going off of that. Peyton Wilson had another, you know, standout game. You know, what did you kind of see from him? It seemed like he basically did almost everything, you know, that you guys asked him to do tonight. Yeah, Peyton's playing at a high level, um, you know, and you're right, whatever we ask him to do. And said a lot of great things on the sideline during the game, encouraging his teammates in the locker room. Uh, said some really powerful things down there to the team. And um, he's playing at a high level and he's leading at a high level. Go ahead, Ethan. Going off of that, Coach, just how important is it to have a strong group of upperclassmen leaders like Peyton and everybody else after a loss like this? Yeah, no, it's, it, yeah, these ones hurt a lot. And so these guys are going to have a lot to do with what happens next, you know. And like I told them in there, good teams stick together in tough times. And, you know, it's easy right now for people to want to point fingers because that's what everyone on the outside is going to do. And, and I understand why. Um but as a team, you can't do that. You know, you have to stick together. You have to pull for each other. And we have to get better in the areas. And as coaches, we have to do an uh, incredible job at helping them through that and putting them in position to be more successful. You know, that's what our responsibility is. Theirs is to execute. And so the leadership is going to be tested, you know. And like I've told our team from the beginning, leadership is most profound during most difficult situations. That's when leaders really step up. Uh, it's easy to be a leader in good times. So we're going to need those guys to do that now. Go ahead, Luke. Dave, Dave I, know I know some of this, of this requires, requires looking, looking at the, at the film, film, but when, when you, you look, look at Brennan, Brennan how, how much, much of that, that from the, the sidelines sideline on, on him, him and how, and how much, much of that is receivers, receivers not getting open, open um, or the pass protection, protection? Can you, can you balance, balance that at all from the sideline? Sorry. Yeah, Luke, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear a word you said right there. I don't know. Can you try again, Luke? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
I know, I know some, some of the reporters looking, looking, looking at the film, at the film with, with Brennan, Brennan from the sideline. Side can, can you look at how much of that is that receiver not, getting, not getting, open getting open or pass or protection? Pass protection? Can, can you balance that, that, balance that now? now? We can't get anything later. Yeah, I think what you said from the sideline, could I tell if it was guys not getting open? Is that right? And pass, and pass protection. protection. Yeah, so there's a a lot of things that happen. Uh, we got beaten pass protection multiple times. Uh, there were some blitzes that came free. There were times where we were not open, and there were times where there were guys open and Brendan couldn't see him because of the pass rush, okay? And so I know when you're in the stands, you see a guy open, and you're like, throw it to him. Well, you know, he might have a guy in his face, and he can't see him. And so sometimes that happens at the quarterback position. Again, without really seeing the tape and knowing all those things, you know, as it happened in real time, I'll be able to give you a lot better detail, obviously, in my press conference. But from the sideline, they played a lot of man coverage. We weren't always open. There was a lot of pressure. Uh, and we were behind the chains too much, you know. I mean, whether it was a penalty that put us back there or negative plays, we were in a lot of bad down and distances. And that's tough on offense. Go ahead, Ethan. And Coach, going off of what you just said, um, this team has been executing fairly well on those, you know, third and shorts, third and mediums. But what can this offense do moving forward to put themselves in more of those situations and keep themselves from being behind the chains as much? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, you can't beat yourself. You know, the pre-snap penalties that we had, the holding penalties, which are technique oriented, those things hurt. Um quite a bit, you know, and I think there were times where we had some efficient, we got second and one and the next play we get a holding penalty, you know, uh, our short yardage has been good this year. Um, that really hasn't been our problem. You know, so there's so many things that we got to get better at, you know, and, and I could stand here all night and just talk around it. But until I study the film, I'm not going to be making statements on what all those things are and be wrong. You know, uh, it's obvious when you play, this game, there's 11 guys out there and they all have to perform well. And there's certain routes um, where receivers didn't release the correct way. They should have gone outside, they went inside. So now they were in the vision of where the throw was going to be on the number two receiver. There's just a lot of things we got to clean up. Thank you. Go ahead, Noah. Yeah, Coach, how do you kind of try to take the positives from this game, especially on defense holding, you know, yeah. Louisville to 20 rushing yards, you know, and try to move forward, you know, trying to take some, you know, positives and learn from those too? Yeah, well, I mean, that's what we'll do as coaches. We'll sit down and show them what we did well and what we'd like to continue doing. And there was a lot of good things on that side of the football. Um, and we'll work really diligently on the things that weren't, you know, and it starts with us as coaches. You know, what do we have to do better? And you look at the personnel, you know, and what does the personnel have to do better? And that's on us to get that right. And uh, then it's on the kids to go execute it. Thanks for joining us tonight, Coach. Hello.